Hi hey guys, welcome back to XCOM UFO Defense, hard mode expansion, starting episode 25. So it's the 8th of May, and uh, last episode we went and shot down two small craft, and we recovered one of them. So we're going to set out right away and try to recover the other one. And what I've been thinking is that um, actually be wise, I think, to send out um, a lot of these new rookies because um, there's a pretty good chance, I think, that in the near future, um, the, en the enemy is going to launch an alien retaliation mission and try to take out our base. So what I want to do is make sure that we have the best shot at defending the base. So I think I'll send Liptak and the two sergeants and the rest are going to be a squad, a whole craft full of rookies. Because um, it's a small, so we might take some casualties, but you know, as long as we kind of make some profit, I guess it's worth it. So let's do that and see what we've got. The other thing is armor. Oh yeah, okay. Let's dish this stuff out because yeah, okay. Um, I want to do a little bit of repair on some of this too. I think. What's our manufacturer? Okay, we're making another sky striker. Nice. That's our second squad. That's coming soon, guys. Um, yeah, let's just take a look. The one thing too to think about is. In the in the st so I'm I'm basically expecting this base to be attacked because they we saw the reconnaissance mission go through, and th they were the two very largest came through. I don't know maybe a, a few weeks back, and I think they probably found the base. So they're sooner or later they're going to launch the attack, and when they attack, you have access to everything that's in the base. But in the old game, there was a limit to how many objects could be selected by the the crew that was defending so um but i think for now like i think it loads this these first like i don't think you ever see any of this stuff well you do see you see heavy plasmas and stuff but we can't use those i'm a little worried about the electro flares there's a lot of those we don't use them much so i'm going to sell those down i think so they don't take up too much space we're gonna need proximity grenades i should even buy some more high explosives that's a little light there we don't need that many grenades just trying to make a little bit of space in case um, we don't have... Okay, we won't need a grenade launcher. That's good. We may use the heavy cannon, though. But no HE ammo for it. This is the kind of stuff that's going to get us in trouble. I should buy some more HE ammo for that. Shotgun and alloy shells. I'll buy a couple more shotguns. Pistols, that's good. A lot of alloy clips, actually. Um, we do have a rocket launcher tank, which is great. Um... Anyway, so there's a couple of things there. Um, let's go ahead and purchase one more shotgun and some auto, uh, some heavy cannon HE, uh, three rocket launchers is good. A bunch more smoke grenades. Whoa! Oh, we have some in the mail, but yeah, you know what? You can never have too many of those. Uh, and high explosive, we said. Let's buy, you know, a few of those. Even though, frankly, I don't think we really are going to use them. But there's a, you know, there's a fair chance that we'll see cyber discs on an attack on the base, and that would be devastating. So, um, okay. And let's just quickly, how many damaged um, armored vests? Just one. Okay. Well, could order a few more, I guess. Let's get a couple more coming. Five more, hundred grand. Okay, so now we've got our new complement on the craft, and let's launch. Let's wait a little bit longer and launch. Okay, Sky Striker, go. And please don't come. You really want to take that base defense mission with everybody home. Here we go, guys. Noobs going in. Bastien, you are gonna look. Yeah, you're gonna do what you did last time. Fire that thing straight up the door. Still fine. Same deal. Good. Now we come into the noobs. Another Stanislav. Oh, this is the other this is Stanislav from before, but did he not did he not get rank? I don't know what to say there. Hmm. Bad Vladislav Fedorov, you're a little heavy. Let's take you take that grenade out. Uh, okay, so yeah, we're short our artillery staff. This is where we get into real trouble, because you know I don't have any of my usual support. In fact, Liptak might have to double hat. I think he will, as artillery and sniper. Because yeah, that's what's going to happen. We need both. Um, yeah. 
So I'm pretty sure on a regular mission like this, a small mission, you can't encounter um, cyber disks. But there is an element of wishful thinking to that. So, okay, lip tack. Um, let's drop the pistol. Let's drop the ammo. Let's put this in. Let's drop. Let's drop a couple of these because you need space. I'll drop the proximities, and let's give you some of these. And I guess this. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's drop this. Somebody else can be the medic for this this round. Sniper rifles in the backpack. So I'm gonna assume he's gonna use this thing first. Okay. Bart Lejeune, uh, you're gonna be yeah, good old shotguns. I feel like I feel like I still don't know whether being overweight matters, but let's give him a little overweight. Forty, no, Angela, you're not gonna do that. You're doing shotguns. And but she's actually got a fair bit of strength for a noob. Um, but yeah, we'll load her down with smoke because we always need lots and lots of smoke. Somebody with a 40 accuracy is a good smoke person. Ivanov. Um, yeah, same deal. And I guess having a couple high explosive is good. It is good. So let's keep, we'll keep those here. 65. That's actually getting into good accuracy. 66. Whoa. Tell you what, the 66 are, I think we're going to use as another um, grenadier. These grenadiers are just, as we've seen, are just so, so, so effective that you want them. Okay, and let's do one more just for good luck. Overweight them a bit. Etienne, 63, not bad. Um, no, let's not do that. Let's just give you a little bit extra. He's overweight now. Let's just give him a smoke. Okay, all these medics, you know. I like medics, but... These guys need to have, um, okay, that's it for smoke, wow. Okay, just squeeze a little, you know what? Just for safety. I don't think we're taking any prisoners here that we need, so. They really wanna put the uh, the rookies with the medic packs out front. I don't quite get it, but. Stun rod, okay. Yeah, let's do that. Alley, 62, not too bad, actually. Um, okay, you can hang back as a medic. That's pretty good. And then Bastien. Okay, guys. So let's let's hope for the best here. Okay, that's a good. That's a very good spawn. Excellent spawn. Smoke it out. There we go. Bastien's gonna toss these two smokes. Okay, that's good. Let's open the back door. Alley. Oh, of course. Who's got it? Quentin. None of you guys have smoke. How did this happen? Just gotta throw it to you. And you've gotta relay it out the door. That's the old uh, grenade relay. It's pretty classic um, XCOM thing that I don't use much, but I really should. Okay, so that's good. Let's let that go. A lot of Aliens out there, guys. Okay, let's deploy out. I never like that, eh? When you pop out and you don't see anybody, it's like, really? Oh, guys, it's, it's the worst, actually, but... Okay, let's, uh, let's see who can deploy and what he can throw. Stefan, okay. Here, let's extend this out. And then I'd like you to pull it to here and hopefully not get shot. I do want to put Bastien. Okay, so let's pull, let's get our heavies deployed. Do you have another smoke? No, somebody else. I want to extend that because it's just too dangerous. Stanislav, can you do it? Yes, you can. Let's go down to here. Extend the smoke for us. Hopefully that does the trick. And where's lip tack? Lip tack, gee. Yeah. Um, rookie, lots of smoke, excellent, Fedorov. Let's do this. Actually, you know what, let's just make sure we're covered here. And let's get our uh, alley at the door. Come on, alley. Whoa, look at that, eh? 
right there. Guilty. Guilty gear. Um, okay, since you're out of the craft, 24 TUs, can you do it? Yeah, that wasn't great. Um, we need we need to extend that smoke there. It's like very very problematic. Let's oh, there's no smoke on this guy. Really kind of disappointed with my smoke distribution here. None we know none of these guys have smoke. Do you? Yes. Okay. Work niche. Let's put the work in. Um, I really need that guy not to be seen. It's critical. And I, I want smoke there too. You just can't really have enough, to be honest. So Rashid's our, um, okay, that's our smoke person, wow. Um, can you do this? Okay. Let's just really hope we don't get an alien grenade in the face here. Okay, and then I think everybody else is staying indoors for the time being. Um, I do wanna, can you do it? 22. I do want to deploy this guy. It's, it's dangerous though, but... Here it comes. Let's do it. That's what you get when you just throw away shots. Okay, let's deploy Liptac out to here. I really hope that smoke works, because Liptac's invulnerable. And this thing, I was going to pull it back to here. Let's let it draw a little fire. And then everybody else, hold tight for a sec. Yeah, that's too crowded down there. So here we go, guys. Uh oh. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, that was a floater. Probably. Stressful guys, that floater. Um, okay, let's do a try to spot that way. Nothing, eh? Wow. Okay, sectoid in the open. Uh, that looks like food for lip tac. Although, who, maybe we can just shotgun it down. Let's try to spot this floater first. There it is, and it's got a sword. Aim that shot. Oh, I can't do it. Let's do one of these. Actually, you know what? Play it safe. what I like to see, and let's get Vladislav here to it's also what I like to see okay, and I think that drone's going to pull back okay and then we'll take a couple more steps oh, spotted, where is that ooh, and that's upper story, okay that definitely can take a little fire, let's get some people set up for this Angela, what can you do for us here? Just put some rounds at it. Rashid, what do you got for us? Oh, Rashid's, oh, Rashid's the artillery man. Shucks, okay. Um, work niche, can you put the work in? Let's do it, 25 time units. Yes, Worknish, I love you. Oh, Worknish is, he's soon to be new hero. Okay, get that squared away. And we've got you and you. Schwartz, you're hanging back. Okay, well, let's push a rookie up to here. Can you do a little more smoke for us? No. So time to deploy the other rookies here. Bart Lejeune, not a rookie, squatty, sorry. Um, okay, let's throw that. Let's just fully spread that out. And let's get... Um, yeah, Ivan. You gotta deploy sometime, right? Now's as good as any time, I guess. Vladislav. I just wanna pull these guys out because, you know, if the mission ends, they don't, they need to deploy. And you know what, let's get, um, just for safety, let's get Schwartz back up top. He's our evac man in case things go south. And these two guys are still gonna hang and wait till next turn, let's go. 
That's what I like to see. You know, a turn with no no reveals. Okay, so let's see if we can push this guy up a little bit. Try to reveal anybody in that corner. Wow. Very, very creepily quiet up there. Let's pull back. This seems like a big map. Big map, small UFO. There we go. This looks like... Oh, he's floating. Gee, now I, I kind of wish Liptak had... Okay, Liptak. I think, well... You know what? I keep saying Liptak, but... Let's just throw some stuff at it, right? Why not? Can you, can you do it? What can you throw at this thing? No. Yeah, this could be a Liptak job. It's a... Yeah, it's kind of a lip tack sniper job, actually, but... I don't think, unfortunately, he can do it. Let's try Let's just do this. Come on, lip tack. Well, this is what I get, right? Load that, but... Okay, Worknish, I think we need more of what you've got. I liked it, but... He had a decent percentage at that range. Like, it's impressive. Zero. Um, who else? Prince. Yes. Zero? What? Is it a snapshot or aimed? No. Nope. Yeah, we're wasting rounds, but... Rashid. I don't want to shoot that right here. You're going to hit this, the roof and kill us all. Pull you to here. Um, Ivan, we, I think we tried you. Try this guy, 47, I like that. Wow. I mean, this is what you get for firing shotguns this far away, but... What's Bastian's accuracy? 69, he's almost a sniper. I should have just set him up as a... Yeah, I should really trade their weapons. Um... Or at least, yeah, give him... Yeah, but... Okay, anyway. It's not really that clean. Um, okay, we need recon out here. That means you, Quentin. Yeah, he's in danger for sure. Fisher. Um, I don't like your, your odds here, but... At this point, no. Yikes, guys. So we that one gets to live. It's just too bad. You never want... That's a classic XCOM truism, is you just don't want the enemy to live through the turn. You know, you don't want to give them a chance to reveal you and, and take a shot, because they'll make a count. Yikes, guys. I'm a little tempted to try this, but he could miss and blow us all up, so... It's sort of a no. Yeah. Um... There's the shorts. I guess, may the shorts be with you. Like, we kind of have to, at this point. Oh, that was close. Okay, let's um, pull this back. And you guys are stuck for the turn. Yeah, everybody's stuck. Okay, I guess we're just, oh, Alley. Dare I? 62%, can you do it? Wow, that was beautiful, Ali. Wow. Great shot. Here we go. I bet you there's more in that house. There's never... Houses like that are never a single enemy. Oops. Where's that guy? He's got to be licking his wounds somewhere. Okay, so we were going to do... Uh, you know, I guess we're going to keep just pumping rounds at this thing. Uh, you can't do it, can you? Somebody's got to be able to do it. Oh. Allie, can you do another one like that? That was beautiful. No, it was too much to ask. I, I, I grant that. Um, all right, Liptak. I mean, do it. There we go. M79 sniper. He stands left. You're pushing up. But we don't have... Oh my gosh, that's the craft. What a diabolical spot for it. Alrighty, so I guess we're coming up through... Whoa. 
Yeah, okay, we're gonna wanna have Overwatch over there. So let's get the heavy um, that up here. And I think we should probably try to throw... Who's got good throwing strength? Accuracy 66, strength, I don't know, let's try. Can you do it? No. Next turn. Okay, Ivanov. I guess we're gonna just come up this way. I wanna extend that smoke though, for sure. Schwartz, you can do this. Throw this up to here. Okay. And yeah, so that one's dead. That's all we saw, right? Didn't reveal any more. 50. Okay, that's pretty good to see. Not a lot of action. Let's pull back a little bit. And we're definitely going to have to clear this house. Oh, look at that. Standing right there. Fraser, do it. Chewing the house up pretty good. Uh, get out of the way. And put the work in. Yes. Yes. Deadly you are. Do a little more reveal. Okay, let's pull back. That was some good action. And we gotta move the prince in to back him up, I think. And who else? Worknesh, I love you Worknesh, you're so, so great. Okay. And now, I guess, anything else to do here? We've got the Overwatch, Bastien. A lot of stuff, you've got a little bit of smoke if we needed it. You know what, let's cover this guy's side, just in case. So he's got a little bit of cover. And I think that's pretty much, okay, Vladislav Fedorov, he's, he's not. Let's, um, let's try to go this way. Actually, pull back just a little, okay. And, okay, Rashid. Yeah, Rashid's good, let's get him ducked here and he'll be um, some decent cover. Schwartz. I'm gonna pull you up so that you can do, throw a grenade if we have to. Okay, let's see how this goes, guys. What are you? I, oh, I have an Alba. We need you up. Yeah, you go up with these guys. It sounds like it's the front door. Let's recon it. No, it's not. Wow. Okay. So who's gonna do this? Uh, Lejeune, can you do this? Throw it there. Yes, beautiful. Nice booby trap. Everybody else pull back. Okay, let's we'll move the heavy up. Actually, it's gotta be it's gotta be a straight angle. Like that. And Ivanov, can you get yeah, nice. Oh, it's blown out there. Okay, yikes. So this is all potentially hostile over here. Crazy. I didn't even notice that. Um Okay, can I yeah, let's shoot out the uh shoot that out. Okay, wow, he's got visibility through there. Let's get this thing up. I don't cover anything that's that's working us here. Oh, spotted. Whoa. Okay. I think it's another lip tack. I guess we can give Rashida a chance. Let's do it. 75%. What do you got? Gotta hit him straight on. It's not gonna work. Just like that. Excellent. Okay, Quentin, you're chief recon here. Looks good. I mean, that's what you say right before somebody dies, usually. Anyway, well, we're gonna work that house. Work next, you're gonna take up the rear. And Angela Fraser, let's push you forward just a touch. Uh, I would mind a little more smoke, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're... It's, it's money well spent, the way I see it. And then, Ali, yeah, okay. Ali, I want you back here just in case that house proves to be... Uh, occupied. We can put a little bit onto it. Okay, let's do this. And next turn we're going to try to switch the sniper rifle. And then maybe be able to shoot through the door if and when we open it. Let's get these rookies up. Bart Lejeune, you threw that. Okay, can you get up to here? No. Here. And Iva. Ivan, sorry. In you go. Vladislav. Oh, why did you go that way? Oh, because there's a tree in the way. Okay, Stefan, you did not succeed at blowing this out properly. And okay, that's a next turn thing. She, you're stuck. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. 
I forgot to move this tank. Scout. Another one. Um, gee, I don't think you can do this, right? If you do 41, uh, 42. 37 is really not the kind of odds I like. Lip tack. You bring one in. I don't feel the slightest bit bad about that, you know? And we know the front door is good because we've trapped it, but we don't know about this door. Vladislav, you can step right out. Oh. One of these. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's a problem. Oh. Whoa, that's a problem. Now I want to drop something on him, but it's really dangerous to do that. I can take out our own boy. Well, this is a situation where a well-placed proximity grenade might be the answer. I think that went on him. Unfortunately, that might take a piece of Vladislav out, but... Is there a roof on that thing? No. Interesting. Gee. Yeah. Well, it's going to be a bit messy here, potentially. Um, I'm thinking... I don't want to blow that out. I don't want to lose that corpse. Hmm. Liptak did his service. STN. Yeah, there's not much I can do with that. I think the grenade landed on his feet. Which I like. I can't get an angle this way. If I could step up, I could have shot him actually. Yeah. Hmm. Well, the only other option is no. I don't want to do high explosive. Yeah, and there's a there's a wall there, so that's not happening. So we're gonna to have to wait a turn on that and hope he dies from the explosion. Unfortunately, he's gonna be revealed. So that means we want a little extra smoke on this, just to cover him in case he survives. Okay. And you know. I think you're just going to wait, Vladislav, in case somebody comes through there. Schwartz, um, let's blow out uh, the street. Okay, and come into here. And these guys, Lejeune, he did his work. Let's get Iva up here. Yeah, and we've got one here. Let's try... Um, how much is it? 22? 15? Yeah, we can do this. Let's put one, like... There, in the offhand that somebody comes out. And these guys are going to push up. Let's try to reveal here. Looks good. Okay, push to here. Uh, somebody came at the back door. It's probably those guys, though. Worknish. I don't want Worknish to die. I like him too much. That's where those biases come in, you know? Okay, you, you don't see anything, do you? Okay. Um... Let's extend our smoke by just doing that and going into it. And then we'll see about next turn. And then the heavies are back here. Bastien, G. Yeah, okay, Bastien. Actually, Bastien is kind of a liability right now. Let's switch to the pistol. Who's here? Rashid, yeah, okay. Um. You're in a good position though, Rashid. Let's just hang, ready? Got it. Nice. Oh, but it blew his wall down. Luckily it didn't hit him. Wow, guys. So, I was hoping to reveal it. Now there is a grenade right there. I can't step on that. Okay, he's gonna die if he hangs around there. So let's go back. I'd love to know where that guy went. I heard a door too, actually. That one maybe? Oh my gosh, look at that. There we go. Unfortunately, we shot the steps out, so there's no way up now. Deeply disturbing, though, that there was an alien in the house with us, you know? Like, that's creepy right there. Prince took him out. But yeah, there could, for all we know, be somebody upstairs. Um, don't love it. You know, one option would be to try to shoot at the second floor. This door's not open though, and that's encouraging to me. Uh, and the roof, you never know, but... Okay, I think what we're gonna do is... Okay, let's get this thing going. Get all the recon we need done. Oh, there we go, spotting. Whoa, guys. Seconds, okay. 
So let's see about... Um, Okay, Bastian, I need you to pull up a little bit. Make room for Liptak to put this round in. Liptak is, you know... That was way off, Liptak. He's much better with the sniper rifle, it seems. Okay, let's try our other... Um, I'm nervous that we haven't found that guy. He ran back into the craft, probably. Let's try this one. Rashid, 75%. I'll take it, even though you're shooting over all our guys. There we go. Incapacitated. Which is just as good because we have bleed out on, so that thing's burning out. Okay, nice reveal. Okay, so I guess what we have to do is work in on that thing's trapped, so I don't have to worry about it. Got to work in on this craft. It's nerve wracking though with all of that. I I should I should take that grenade out. In fact, that's what we're gonna do. I think I have to take the grenade out. I stand just kneel. We're gonna take this one slow. I have no need to like go get us all killed here. Let's just move in so that we have a chance to engage that thing if it's there. Not the only problem is if they spot us and drop a um, you know, drop an alien grenade on us, then it's lights out. But coming through this wall would make a lot of sense. So this squad we wrap up this way, and we're gonna cut through that side. This is how we're gonna play it. And uh, yeah. Worknish, I think you come up. Oh, look at that sneakiness right there. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, look at that. Iva, can you do the deal with this? Okay, you pull back, Ivan. Let's let's let the uh, the pros in on this. But yeah, here we go. Really? I stand that like went right through him. Um, Liptac, we need you. Still has a really good probability, but is this going to shoot? Nope. Wow, look what it took. Well, I suppose, you know, Stanislav, you've got a grenade prime. Let's just... Hopefully that takes it out. Um, we got to do a reveal here. I'd love to not set off that proximity mine just because, again, destroying corpses, you know, it's contraindicated. So this is all pretty clear. I'm going to assume second story is gone, especially because we just blew out a good part of it. Ooh, that door's open, though. Huh. Odd, because I can't get up. He blew the roof out. There could be somebody in this corner, for all I know. Although maybe that's the one. That would be the one. No, he didn't come down because he would open that door. He could have come up over the roof and been one of the ones we saw out there. I'm assuming that's what happened, but it's still difficult to be 100%. What I'm going to do is come up and shoot out these, these floor tiles next turn. Try to take him out if he's there. I really should have just blown the building out, but... I guess I could still try to do that, but with my guys in there, it's too it's too dangerous to do it. Um, let's bring this guy up, Orknish. Really don't want to lose Orknish. Not only is he a dead eye shot, but he's he's got a cool name. Bart, you're gonna prep up a grenade for us here, and uh, next turn you're gonna clear that mine for us. I think, even though I said I wouldn't. Ivan, okay, and stand us up. Okay, let's try this. Good. Burn that thing out. Whoa, something spotted. Another one came around the corner. Look at that. Bart, can you do this? Or Bastian, sorry. No. Okay. Look how tough that thing is. Ivan, you need this. Drop to a knee. Do it. In the shoulder. Excellent. That thing was loaded too. It was gonna cause some major damage. Okay, no reveal. Okay, let's let's clear that grenade because I think um, the mine. Because I think I think I can do that, and it won't won't blow my uh, my corpse. And we're gonna come and cut through. Let's get. Okay, so yeah, that thing's ready to go. Let's pull it up. Now this house. 
Oh, look at that. Look at that, guys. Right at the back door, hanging out. Oh. Oh, maybe workers can do this job with a grenade. What if you stand up, Ragnish? No, shucks, he doesn't have the throwing for it. Uh, we burn through this guy, or Liptak. Could come down to her. Oh, I didn't reload her. And she doesn't have enough to do an aim shot, which makes her worthless to me. Um, what's his story? Strength and throwing accuracy are decent. No grenades. Gee, guys. Who here has some action? You do, Stefan. Oh, who's there? Let us have. Okay, come on up and let's just put some rounds at it. Yes. I like to see. Okay, let's wait a turn. There it is, guys. Thing of beauty. Wow. So that was a great little um, train up. It took some time, actually. But we were taking it careful, right? So to complete the jinx, that's two... Um, Missions in a row with no casualties, so. Out of HE, yeah, we're ordering, some, we're ordering some of those. Let's get home before this um, base attack happens. Any moment now. Oh, okay. Let's go sell that stuff off. Okay, so what are we doing with here? Plasma sword. Rifle. Shotguns. Yeah, we're going to just liquidate. Sniper rifle, good stuff, you know, really solid stuff. Small launcher. Okay, let's sell some fire bombs. Let's send, sell some Illyrian bombs. Sell a couple stun bombs. You know. I don't know why I'm holding on to those, really. Let's sell these down to 20. Mine probe, nice. Floater corpses, beautiful, get rid of those. Sectoid corpses. UFO navigation. Exam room, nice. There it is, guys. So. A million five. Excellent. So that's really some decent cash there, guys. Um, and, um, yeah. So, you know, one of the questions that's been kind of haunting me is, do we sell one of these laboratories? And I think ultimately, like, oh, the data slate's coming along. Ultimately, like, this game is... It's all about research speed, right? The enemy's tooling up and we have to tool up as fast as we can to try to meet that that threat. So I really think that, um, wow, but look at our, we're short by a million five every month, which is kind of crazy when you look at, and we're gonna be short another 250 because of the, because of the new Sky Striker. So, yes, do not love it. Wait, we only have, how many retaliators? Oh, one per base. Yeah, we've got three retaliators, one sky striker. So really, it's it's you know it's a lot of money that we're short, a million five, and that's not changing. You know, it's like it's just not changing. Oh yeah, look at this short range. Yeah, short range and long range detection. That's something that I. Oh guys, so that's maybe a problem I've been having is all my bases just have the large radar. And we need this small radar as well, guys. I'm, it's occurring to me, right? Because you need detection, so base information. If we get the hyperwave decoder, we don't need either of these. But in the meantime, we do need it. A long range and short range detection. There's two different radars, right? And I, I knew this already. Shucks. They call it small radar system, but I think I have to build them all, guys. It's tragic, but I, I think I do. I think I have to build all have all of them with small radars to be fully functional including our um including these oh, it's tragic you know that was what two million bucks or something down the hole but i think we need it guys i i and i may find out i'm wrong but i did it so we're just barely break even like if it were the end of the month now it's only the eight thank gosh but if it was the end of the month we'd, we'd still come out with 800k um, but you know, doesn't make you feel that that good, really. But um, anyway, guys, let's see. So we've got soldiers, a few extras. Yeah, if we get attacked now, this is a large number of people to have in the base. So I'm fairly confident that we could fight it off. 
Although I'm still not 100% sure do you get everything that's on the uh, Sky Striker. Do you get all these things? We have a tank rocket launcher there as well, so we have a ton of stuff. So I don't know what the max number of troops is you can defend with, but it'll be like 20 people or something defending. So we will probably be able to keep them from coming through this axis lift and spreading out into the base. Unfortunately, the design here is not great because we start we start in the living quarters in the general store, so we start in all these places. But some people are going to start all the way over here, and somebody might even start there. So these guys would have to cut down this way and sort of shore up this side, and these guys might bear the brunt of it and get the guys in this unit will probably get killed unless they can pull out. And we're going to proximity grenade the hallways like crazy and and just create arcs of fire going down the hallways and try to kill everything. But it all depends on what species come through. If it's chrysalids, they'll just charge. And sector, uh, sorry, cyber disc will just charge through. So that's going to be a, a do or die event. Um, and we've got this tough stuff coming in 12 hours. Yeah, 60 smoke grenades. That's good. So that's all good stuff. And we need it all. So um, 4 for 10 for alien containment. And we're almost done on the data slate, which is really good news, guys. So it's going to be a good, good time soon. And if we survive that base assault, I believe that in this version of the game, the enemy basically forgets you, forgets the location of your base, and it has to do another recon to find it. In the base game, it, it was, I don't know if it was broken, but once they found a base, they just repeatedly sent very large at it over and over again, once or twice a month. Uh, and it got kind of annoying after a while. So you, I'm glad, I think they fixed that. I think it was a bug, so. Anyway, um, like the, the base assault didn't get reset. So the problem is guys with this base, I built a large radar, but we may not detect the, the craft if it's close. I don't know if that's within smaller or large radar range. I guess, how would I find that out? I'd have to build a new base to find out. Actually, if I go like this and I go build a new base, it gives me the rings. Shucks, look at that. So it's within the small radar range, guys, that, that base. But with any luck, we see the supply ship coming through the large radar band and I can in infer that it's headed for there and, and I'll send an intercept. That's the plan. So now actually it occurs to me that we have to take that rain or shine. So it's going to be night missions uh, possibly, which I don't even know if they're worth it. Actually, it might be worth just letting it go. But how many electro flares? We've got 16. That'll have to do, I guess. Anyway. Um, all right, guys, so let's leave it there. Um, we move things forward just a little bit. And at least we didn't get anybody killed. So good news. Thanks so much for watching, guys. It's been a huge pleasure. And I'll catch you next time.